Hey guys, it's AV here from Remax City Realty in Vancouver. I just wanted to make this video uh, because a number of my clients have asked, Hey AV, how's the market doing? And uh, I thought I'll just make this video to update everyone out there. Uh, just as a highlight, in Vancouver East, we saw that uh, pricing has come down. Uh, in general, uh, in the Vancouver East area, actually pricing has uh, gone up on average, but in popular neighborhoods such as Fraser, Grandview, Killarney, uh, these areas have uh, seen uh, prices gone down uh, a little bit. Uh, with the exception of uh, Renfrew, uh, Renfrew actually saw uh, quite a bit of increase in pricing. In the Vancouver West area, for single family houses, uh, we saw a 4% increase. For townhouses and condos from uh, May 2017 compared to uh, this year, May 2018, we saw an increase of about 5%. That's for Vancouver West. And on to Vancouver East. In East Van, uh, townhomes remain flat. Uh, pricing hasn't changed much uh, since last year. Uh, although condos saw a 14% increase. Condos in East Vance saw that uh, increase. And uh, single family houses in Vancouver East uh, went up by about 2.4%. And to the south in Richmond, townhomes saw an increase of approximately 8%. And condos in Richmond saw a whopping 21.5% increase. Uh, this might be due to sales of uh, newer newer buildings, uh, which are selling for higher per square foot uh, pricing. So that's uh, for condominiums in Richmond. Uh, there was a 21.5% increase uh, year to year. And single family homes in Richmond has been flat. On to Burnaby, townhomes saw an increase of about 6%. Uh, and condominiums saw about 8.8% increase. And in Burnaby, single family houses actually saw an, a decrease in price of approximately 10%. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean that prices have absolutely gone down 10%, but uh, some smaller properties might be changing hands at this time. So that's for uh, Burnaby, uh, single family houses down 10%. And uh, all the way to the south in South Surrey, the average prices uh, for houses uh, in specific neighborhoods such as Sunnyside Park, Surrey, prices have gone down 4.6%. In Grandview, 24% went down. And in Elgin neighborhood, it went down 21%. That's in uh, South Surrey. So in uh, South Surrey, um, it'll probably take uh, about one month uh, to sell your listing uh, if you're priced at uh, market value uh, except for uh, in the Elgin neighborhood uh, you'll probably take uh, about two months uh, to sell your house there and so just a rundown of uh, days on market to sell uh, in Vancouver West if you're listing a, uh, a house uh, you'll probably expect to sell the house in about uh, a month and a half uh, if you are priced uh, at around market value or even below market value um, to gain um, much buyer interest. For condominiums in Vancouver West Side, you should expect to sell in about 16 days. In Vancouver East, for houses, you're expected to sell in two months. For condominiums, uh, you'll sell much faster, probably in two weeks. For Richmond, for houses, you'll expect about a month and a half if you're priced at market value or below market value. And for condominiums in Richmond, uh, it'll probably take about 20 to 30 days. And in Burnaby, for houses, it should take about a month. And for apartments, for condos, townhouses, uh, it'll probably take about 20 days. And there you go. That's uh, just a general sort of like a market update for May 2018. If you have any specific questions on specific neighborhoods or uh, 
for properties that have sold on your street or around your area, please uh, contact us for more information.